tonight uh, to the Cliffy Land Global Cooking Challenge. This is night one of country number 141 of my 193 around the world cooking challenge. Tonight we are cooking Romania and uh, we are making two things. We are making ciftele and mamaliga. Ciftele is a fancy way of saying Romanian meatballs and mamagila is a fancy way of saying baked polenta. Romanian style. Thank you for the like and retweet, Anthony. And round, switch my view. Give me one second here. There we go. There we go. Hello, welcome. Uh, I've got my funky fairy t-shirt on. Hey, Anthony. Hello, Germany. How you doing? Uh, we are getting ready for tonight. So, um, the timing on this one's going to be kind of interesting because theoretically they're both rather short um, and fast and I started with a lot of time to go. Uh, thank you, Ben. Thank you for the like and retweet. Good seeing you. Um, uh, and uh, that's Ben, yes. Uh, so thanks for coming by. Uh, we, um, so the, we've got the meatballs that are going to happen in a certain amount of time and then the polenta it takes a different amount of time and so what I'm thinking of doing is I'm gonna prepare the meatballs uh, and put them aside and then fry them at the end and then do the polenta in between um, so this should be kind of interesting so uh, let's get started on the meatballs hey Germany uh, okay get my shirt on so we are back in Europe here and uh, Every time I get to do Europe, I just know ahead of time, I said there's one thing I'm definitely going to be seeing. Um, going well, going well here. Uh, had the day off today with the sweetie and we went out and saw Inside Out, which was really good and made me cry. So, um, I recommend it. So, uh, and we had a nice lunch out and he was nice enough to do my grocery shopping for me early, so yeehaw. Um, hey Anthony, good seeing you there. Oh yes, that's right, you retweeted. Um, thanks again. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna get an onion. As, as with everything, we always start with a grated onion. Or in this case, a grated onion, so I'm gonna use the food processor for that sucker. Um, I keep forgetting that I moved my knives. Uh, so, I need to get these sharpened. Um, I don't know if I'll get to this weekend. Um, so, uh, let's see. That was a challenge to try not to blind everyone with the light there. Uh, so, onion. Uh, this says about half of a medium onion, but I have some kind of small onions, so I'm going to go with that instead. Uh, so that should do. Over here. Okay. So uh, we're going to make the, uh, if, uh, uh, if you were to go to look at my blog and see the history of um, how things have gone before, you will see that anything ball shaped has been my nemesis uh, since day one. Um, because I, as I said before, cannot think spatially. So people say, oh, make a you know size of a whatever bowl, and I'm like, I, I'm golf bowl, ping pong bowl, I, I can't tell, I don't know how big something should be. So I think I've lucked out because this recipe said the obvious thing, which was use an ice cream scoop. Um, and I was thinking, well, that's handy. Now I know like how big something should be, so yippee. So I'm um, going to mix this up. Yeah, because the balls I've made before also, uh, these are going to be fried, uh, not deep fried, they're going to be pan fried, uh, and uh, which is sort of like other meatballs that I've made before. Um, however, m routine problem I have is I've made meatballs too big, and they always end up being kind of cr uh, raw on the inside, which is not what you want. Um, but that's kind of always happened, so I'm hoping to break the curse tonight. Simple as that. Um, that's not pretty. Um, yuck. We don't want you in there. Uh, how's everybody doing? 
Did you have the day off? Or if you're in the States, I don't suppose I celebrate the 4th over in England, right? Um, and uh, so everybody getting ready for their fireworks and such. Where I lived in Columbus for a while, they had some insane reason. They always did the fireworks on the 3rd, which that didn't make any sense to me. So, go figure. Okay, I am not grading the sucker by hand. Ah, sorry about that. So, I'm back to Mr. Food Processor. And, um, this should be really fast. So, uh, maybe if I did that right. There we go, on food processor. Loud time. <laughs> Again, every time I've had to make meatballs, I've kind of screwed up. Uh, I haven't diced things small enough and stuff, and this time it said grated. So I'm figuring that's a good idea that I'm using this because it'll be enough of a mush. Also, you'll see in a second, um, uh, it says to use bread. Um, and it didn't say what kind of bread, though I have a sneaking suspicion it probably would want something like white bread stale white bread at that, and I have neither white bread nor stale white bread. So, um, we're gonna see how that pans out. Uh, so onion into here. Don't cut your hand. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so we have to, um, cause when I made, uh, the food from the Czech Republic, if you go on the blog, you'll see that was interesting. Have anyone, has anyone ever had a dumpling from the Czech Republic, a Czech dumpling or Slovakian dumpling? Because if you have, um, apparently, um, they really suck and that's just kind of the way they are. Um, cause when I made mine, I thought, boy, this is just really awful. I'm really sorry. I must have screwed that up. And then I talked to people who had gone there, visited there, gone to restaurants there and said, nope, nope, that's how they are. That the Czech, the dumplings from the Czech Republic are like super, super dense, um, which does not sound tasty at all. But in any case, those said to use um, X number of pieces of, of white bread, and I never have white bread in the house because we don't eat white bread. But um, so at that point, I bought uh, against against the husband's better judgment, bought. Uh, uh, white bread, a uh, loaf of white bread, of which I use like two pieces of it, and the rest just kind of got thrown away. So, uh, I am not doing that this time. So, it's between um, the whole wheat, uh, the, sorry, the multigrain that's in the fridge for sandwiches, or the sourdough I use for other things. One of those is going to have to do. Problem is, it's not stale, and it needs to fall apart. So let's see how that goes, shall we? Okay. So we've got our grated onion over here. Now, the usual garlic business. Uh, this meatball recipe, I'm making the whole meatball because it's saying uh, it makes something like six to eight and there's something like, like six per person or maybe 12 says six per person. So hopefully that'll be enough or not too much. Um, so next we're going with, uh, let me make sure I got this right, um, the bread, as I was just saying. Um, got some water in here. And we're going to soak the bread. It's got to be all uh, falling apart. So we have got... American grains, ancient grains, so um, we'll see how, how fall apart that one goes. Uh, you know, we were just in a restaurant, I really have felt like saying, do you have any stale bread sitting back there that I could just have? Which would probably have been a better idea, but, because I did bake at a restaurant when I cooked um, the Netherlands, and they were super nice and gave me some stuff from the kitchen. So this is what we got. Use it for sandwiches. 
So into the into the drink you go. Two pieces of bread. I'm gonna take a picture of that since I don't normally do that thing. So let's see, yeah, because when I eat that, it's got like kind of whole grains in it. So also the meatball, the specific Romanian recipe that I found, Romanian recipes have ridges, um, is um, from a Romanian recipe website. So that's handy. And uh, it said to mix um, me, uh, beef and pork. Uh, however, I just opted for just pork. Uh, I don't think that's sacrilege. At least I hope it's not. Um, I gather that pork is sort of quite the thing in Romania. So, and it's kind of a nice break from the no pork ever that we get when we're cooking so many Arabic nations uh, relatively close to each other, because last week we did Cutter. In case you didn't see, blog is at cliffyland.com. Follow, like, treat, retreat, that whole business. Um, blogs are posted on Wednesday. Uh, the what to do was the last Kateri thing we did. It was really good. Uh, my, I'm drawing a blank right now. Um, so, bread. Uh, now, uh, yes, the one thing I've learned that no matter where it is in Europe I go, before I start, always know that there's one thing that I will not be able to avoid as much as I want to. That is dill. I am not a huge fan of dill. Uh, I've gotten sort of acclimated to it, but uh, when I first started this, it literally, it triggered my gag reflex a lot. Um, and I did not enjoy that. I've gotten sort of used to it. So this whole process is, again, trying to get me off of not liking certain things, or at least that's part of it. So thankfully this has already been washed, so yes. So um, we are going to chop up a teaspoon's worth of this. And uh, I was told the first time I was dealing with this and posted pictures, someone looked online and said, uh, what are you doing? You need to, you know, you can't use the stems and everything. I said, what do I know? I've never used this before. Um, so this time I am just taking the little the hairs off and not the stems because I think that's what you're supposed to do even though I'm chopping this up um, and again one teaspoon's worth and I'm hoping that's one teaspoon's worth there so you go away okay so choppy choppy um, Romania um, I was looking at all these different recipes and um, I shouldn't be surprised uh, we'd previously cooked Macedonia and Moldova, which are both in the neighborhood. Uh, Moldova is right next door. Moldova is, they're all uh, ethnic Romanians or, um, anyway, so their food is really almost identical. Um, cooking there was kind of hard to find what makes that special. Um, so Romania um, has influence from all over um, and, but it has a large, uh, Ottoman influence, as we saw, um, uh, we were even dealing with that to a degree when we were cooking cutter last week, uh, because there was a stuffed pepper recipe that I decided not to do, because I did a stuffed pepper for, um, I think it was Macedonia. I guess those Ottomans love their stuffed peppers. So I didn't want to do a stuffed pepper again. Uh, and, um, there's also stuffed cabbage, which looked really nice, but I did, like, rolled cabbage for something else previously. Um, again, very Ottoman type thing, uh, even though their version is very Moldovan. That looks like a teaspoon to me. I don't think I even need to take out my measuring cup for that. Um, and, uh, I'm getting better at this. Chopping like a pro. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, I'm a learning. I'm a learning. I actually watch some people on on Meerkat even. And I'm just kind of trying to uh, assimilate the information just from watching. Um, and uh, so, dill. Yeah. So I didn't want to do all the same stuff. And I know turkey is going to be coming. 
and I don't want to like run out of every traditional Turkish thing before I even get to Turkey. So, um, I mean, that won't be till sometime in January, I'm guessing, but uh, still. Uh, so we've got our dill and um, bread. Uh, oh yes, and I need garlic cloves. I knew I needed those. So uh, it's two, 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 two garlic cloves. So we've got you over yonder. These are small enough. I'm gonna use my gizmo. Oh, OCD. Not dealing with the schmutz on here, but I will, I will cope. I will cope. I'm learning. Um, so, uh, yes. So I was trying to figure out what to do. Um, there's a grilled meats that they do. Um, one that was um, sort of like. Uh, you know, like a breakfast sausage you would get, um, that's a sausage that's not in a casing. Um, so they do a lot of that, and like, is it like kaftas that you'd find in a Greek restaurant? Um, so they're like little cigars of meat that would be grilled or, uh, or, um, broiled. And I thought about that, but that didn't seem terribly exciting, and I really, really hate grilling. Um... Not to mention the fact that I can't be running outside. And it's really like 92 degrees outside right now. So it is hideous. Hideous with a capital H. Um, so I'm not even using my gizmo here. I'm just going ye old school. Uh, since there's only two. Yippee. So, um, yeah, so I have an idea for Tuesday also. This one Romanian website I found was really good. Um, there's some stuff which was, um, I mean, there's always, you know, kind of outre stuff. There's uh, something, um, not in aspic, but in jellied, uh, whatever. Um, I think came across that kind of thing in Finland and such, where you'd have um, like bone marrow and whatever and fat and you'd make a jelly oh god i can't remember what country it was um there was one which was the craziest thing um imagine making a good chicken soup a good chicken pieces the chicken soup in a broth and then mixing in gelatin so and then putting in the refrigerator so you have jellied chicken soup cold jelly chicken soup that was uh, really, really weird. It was hard. It was hard to eat. The next day, I kind of heated it up, and you know, once heated, it was like a good, good chicken soup. But cold, jellied chicken soup was uh, definitely your more acquired taste there, and I did not acquire it. Um, I think that might have been Macedonia, if I'm not mistaken, or Moldova is one of those. Um, everything starts to blur together after a while. I need like a refresher. Yeah, seriously. Um, but like again, anytime I see something, if, if it's within my reach of being you know, weird but I can handle it, um, that's what I'm going to go to. Um, because there was another thing that, I mean I can't make four dishes um, in one night. Uh, they may, there's a number, in these Romanian stuff, I saw things in the category of soups. And soups might be wonderful and all, but I, I'm, I'm not a fan of eating soups, because, uh, I don't know. Um, liquid, I don't know. Um, but there's a lot of soups, and then they have appetizers, and there were main courses. I mean, appetizers and desserts. I don't do desserts. I try not to do soups. And appetizers were appetizers. They weren't, like, side dishes. So, uh, the polenta thing that we're doing is so stinking basic. Uh, that I said there has to be another way to make this interesting and I found that there's this other interesting you know thing of doing to it which I'm gonna do um, to make it better um, other than just cornmeal water and salt and you know call it a day um, so uh, there's a thing called a meat salad and it's like a cold meat salad and it's really weird 
but food is special. You eat what you know. Um, yeah, uh, I, I, for me, it's about picking, you know, picking what to eat. And that's where, you know, the OCD and the list and the whole thing comes into play for me. Because, um, I mean, it's seriously an issue. Uh, because, um, presented with, like, if it's, if I was just like a normal person saying, oh, what do you want to eat? Let's, you know, go to the grocery store and pick out what you want to eat. It's one reason I didn't step in a grocery store for about 30 years. Used to hunt. Oh, God, that's it. My eyes. Again with the eyes. Don't poke your eye out. Uh, my husband used to hunt grass cutter. What is grass cutter? Um, grass cutter. So I'm guessing that's an animal. Obviously, you wouldn't hunt a plant. Um, uh, interesting. Um, yeah, I was, but anyway, I, uh, going to the grocery store, I couldn't ever decide what I wanted to eat uh, because it's overwhelmed by choices. Really big rat found in Africa. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Cool. Um, I mean, people eat all kinds of things. So, I mean, in um, Ecuador and Colombia and Peru, they eat um, cooey, which is guinea pig. Uh, and that's one thing I said I'm not putting on my list because uh, I have friends who have guinea pigs and I don't want to buy my meat in a pet store. Um, but uh, my Ecuadorian friends, a friend, is always laughing at people freaking out over the idea of people eating guinea pigs. So it's just about what you grew up with, what you're familiar with. Um, okay, so uh, we've got our onion, we've got our garlic cloves, we've got our bread, we've got our dill, uh, and now we're going to get but it was what he knew, so that's what he ate. Exactly. Exactly. Somebody said, I think it was um, the Anthony Zimmern, the uh, Bizarre Foods guy. Um, he was asked. He was asked about this whole thing for him, and he said, "You have to remember, anything that no matter how strange a certain thing is to somebody else, it's oh, that's what my grandma used to make." Um, so that kind of opened my eyes, and I went, "Oh yeah." So you know, chicken feet for the Chinese, or you know, cooey for the Ecuadorians. It's like, oh yeah, that's what I grew up with. It's like, oh, that's gross, as everyone else. So, um, I mean, I would never eat a Twinkie. So that's me. So, I've got my bowl. I really need to clean this off because I can't cope. I just can't. Uh, the struggle is real. Uh, okay. Sorry about that. Be right back. You know, like I said, I got pork, um, just pork. By the way, that meat salad, chicken feet are yummy. I I I didn't never had any thoughts about it. I mean, it seemed bizarre to me. The first time I went to dim sum, and they kind of went by, and you know, the lady said, "No, no, you don't want that. That's that's not for you." And I was thinking, "Well, okay." That looks like chicken feet. Um, and it wasn't until I saw, was it Top Chef? Where they had um, a dim sum challenge. And they had to, you know, some woman said, oh, we're gonna make chicken feet. And I said, well, I'm gonna go out and try that. And it wasn't bad. There just was a lot of trouble for not a lot of meat. So it didn't seem to me to be practical in terms of eating, but hey, that's me. Um, maybe I didn't have them done right. That's also quite possible. So, uh, we're gonna get our meat. Uh, we've got some from Fresh Market of our ground pork. So, uh, we get that going in the bowl and then I'm gonna put on my gloves because I'm gonna have to chop that up. Yeah, like when I was a kid, I, like I said before, I, I just, I really grooved on, um, anchovies and frog's legs and confused waiters everywhere um so come on you're in here somewhere your bag your bag okay okay very fresh so fresh ground this morning oh lol not a lot of meat 
Uh, yeah, so there's not a lot of meatballs, and it's only going to be for two people. So, um, that's, was it, I think it was, was it half pound, or is it a pound? I think it's a pound. Um, so, uh, gloves. Because I don't feel like kneading this with my bare hands. Um, so uh, we're going to make it needy. Oh, wait a second before I do that. Um, got to take the picture. Okay, piece of. Alright. Uh, so, two, one, two, three. I can never figure out. Okay, here we go. Uh, and so then we're going to, oh, that's going to be interesting. Right hand, left hand. Uh, this is my left hand. You know what? I'm going to take off this glove because I need to take pictures. Um, and, uh, so to this meat, I'm going to add the, uh, oh, I need, the. Um, Salt and pepper. So, salt, pepper, 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 pepper. Okay. So, salt. One more time. Okay, and uh, salt. And pepper and picture. Okay, and to this, uh, we're going to add the garlic cloves over yonder. Mm hmm. Okay, if this was on, it would be better. Okay, garlic cloves. And the obviously everything else, but I just want to make sure I get it all. Uh, the grated onion, with the onion water. I hope that wasn't a mistake. And um, obviously the uh, dill. And we will get you out of there in a minute. And then our our pieces of wet bread. Well, it's definitely falling apart, that's for sure. Yuck. And in here you go. Okay. Do we have everything? Okay, here's where I put on the other glove. Again. With one hand. Yes, no, maybe. Okay. Swear to me. Something went terribly wrong here. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna knead this together, and then we'll be at a pausing point on that one. Okay. So, so that, let's put the knife somewhere else. Okay. Um, okay, so we're gonna knead this, and, uh, I don't know what to do with all that water. Um, because uh, it needs to hold together. Anytime I've made anything that's like a ball shaped thing that's supposed to hold together, this is a constant challenge that it doesn't stay together. You know what? Something tells me I should have squeezed the water out of that bread. Um, so I may just wind up trying to drain the water out of this because I don't see how this would stick together because it's very wet. Any suggestions? Um, I guess I could just try draining it out into the bowl right in front of me. Um, yeah, because this is way too wet to be bowls. That's not gonna stick together. I found in looking for these recipes, it was um, one of these people has you know, done the around the world thing, but the one who's done it in the most, I say non-traditional kind of way, 
where they don't give a crap if they do something that's totally not the way it's done in said country, which is kind of the opposite of what I want to do. They decided, oh, you know what? Um, uh, I saw, I decided instead of going for recipe, I'm just trying to drain whatever liquid I can this way, which is not coming out. Not a drop of it is coming down. Ooh, one, two, three drops. That's not enough. Um, any other ideas? <sighs> Pour off now. Yeah, see, nothing's really coming out. I'll show you. I'll put this up next to it so you can see. I have an idea, though. I have an idea that I got from a previous thing, and I may wind up doing said idea because that is somebody did something. Um, okay, thank you for whoever followed me back. Um, and okay, since this isn't coming out, see, notice nothing is dripping. Um, I'm thinking of doing a cheesecloth thing to squeeze it. Yeah, squeeze. Yeah, that's. Um, that's kind of what I was thinking, and I, I had done a thing where you put a cheesecloth in it and squeeze it and that gets the water out, which might be a decent idea, because um, it's easier to squeeze that way. Um, so I think I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to clean that up. Um, yeah, you come here. You go that way. Okay. Yeah, uh, 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 uh. Uh, I'll use other gloves. Okay. Uh, clean. Clean the splash. Okay, yes, I think the cheesecloth might do um, what I want it to do. So we'll see. Uh, okay. Uh, I have some left. I hope I, hope I have enough. Okay. Cheesecloth. Two thousand up for squeezing, yes. Uh, that isn't enough, but maybe we can try. We're gonna try, so let me record my, my foibles here. Uh, cheesecloth. Okay. Uh, has anyone ever actually made cheese? I realized that you make cheese with cheesecloth. I did not know that. Um, there was some recipe that said, uh, you know, turn the whatever and then, you know, put a book underneath it and then something else like that. So I can't wrap the whole thing like I wanted to. So I don't know what I'm doing with this, but we're trying. We're trying to squeeze. Getting out. Well, if nothing else, the cheesecloth is absorbing liquid itself. Come on with the squeeze. Don't lose the food, though. Now we're, now we're talking. Come on. Hands getting all wet here. Mm. Dripping, dripping, dripping everywhere. Well, it's certainly feeling a little more solid. Now I've just got this cheese sauce on it. How are we doing? Still really wet. Uh, uh, hi, hi, somebody said hi, hi. Thank you for the, uh, hey, Diane, Diana, thank you for the like and retweet. Hello, good seeing you. I'm trying to squeeze water out of this that I should have squeezed water out of before and didn't know any better. Uh, I'm making the Romanian meatballs now, um, so, okay, I am pretty certain that that's as done as it's supposed to be, because look at that, am I right, am I right, it's standing up straight, um, and the last time I made the uh, same kind of thing, I think I had the same kind of issue, so, uh, I declare that done. Uh, so, uh, next step, uh, well, next step is to preheat the damn oven, because I didn't think I'd be at this point so soon. Uh, preheat to 375. Preheat 
start. Okay. So, um, that's hot. Um, I'm going to move, I'm going to move you back over here. Okay. Besides, we've got power over this side. So, um, let me uh, give you some juice. Okay, uh, we got our polenta. Or, or cornmeal over here. Uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Yes, okay. Trying to remember not to burn my hands. Okay, so on to this we go here. So we're gonna use half of this into here. So about half of you. This way, I think that should be good. It's not, it's not rock solid, which is, you know, it still has a little bit of moisture in it. And the rest comes from the butter, I imagine. So half. Um, uh, here, more for you. Okay, um, so we're going to spread that sucker out. Uh, I think this, I think I, pick, I finally, pick, I did pick the right size glass casserole here. Um, uh, so somehow, squeeze it. Um, if I had chosen a larger one, there's no way that that would work. But as it is, it's having trouble coating the tag. You know, I should move this so you can see what's going on here. And yeah. So I'm trying to spread this across the bottom of this glass casserole. Um, and if I can avoid adding more water, I'm going to try to because uh, I don't want it to be too liquidy. Um, and so try to spread that out on the bottom of the casserole. It didn't say anything about... Should I have, um... Sp I should have sprayed that, shouldn't I? Um, or is it too late? I guess it's probably too late. It didn't say anything about spraying the casserole, so I didn't think about it. Um, so... We're gonna find out what happens on that front. Um, wow, what do you know? It's starting to spread out. Uh, you wanna see something funny? I did um, something else in glass casserole and I had done like half the recipe and it was just such a mess because it, barely, it didn't cover anything. It was all spotty and it was one of my bigger disasters. Too late, too late for that. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. I mean, I would have, like, popped it out and put it back in again, but, yeah, too late. Um, that's okay. Um, I hope it will be anyway. Um, it's not going to be baking for too long anyway, because it's technically already cooked. It's just to cook the egg, that which will be coming up right next. So right now it's sort of covered the bottom, right? And so I'm going to take a picture of that. Okay, and uh, you know, I think I've actually, not that there's that many steps to this, but I think I've sort of memorized it. Um, yeah, I did that. Uh, I'm gonna completely melt this butter now. Let's give it another 20 seconds and I'll watch to make sure I don't explode. Because uh, that's gonna have to pour on top and then the butter stop. And then the egg, and then the feta, or the feta and then the egg, one of the two. Um, so we'll get you over here. We'll get back to the rest of that egg in a minute. Um, so just to be sure, 
Okay, so first goes the butter. Butter. Camera. And it's like butter. Okay. And we pour you over the top of the polenta. Okie dokie. Let's try and get every last drop of it out. Okay. And once we've got our butter, then we're going to go with uh, which one comes next? Um, butter, then the feta cheese. So we've got our feta cheese here. So, uh, crumbled. It said shredded. I don't, you know, I don't know how you shred feta cheese. Um, again, I think some things might be lost in the translation from the Romanian. Um, so, and that happens. Um, so, feta, feta. I love feta cheese. Feta cheese and goat cheese. So put it on anything and I'm there. I'll follow you anywhere. Um, so, I need to get every last bit of it out. So you can imagine, Greece was one of my favorite countries. No. So, uh, feta, 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 feta. Spread that out as much as you can there. Sort of, kind of. Okie dokie. It seems vaguely spread out. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Okay. Uh, so then comes the egg. Uh, I need to wash my hands again. Something got caught up. Okay. Uh, uh, egg, 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 egg. What time are we at? It's so crazy early. It's not even funny. Um... Yes, that is the three beaten eggs right here. So, uh, we're gonna take a picture of you. So we pour that over this. I haven't heard me mention that before the, uh, I think it was my second dish. I mean, remember, I, you know, didn't know anything going into this whole project. But my second dish was Albania. I just picked this thing, which is sort of like chicken cooked in egg as a casserole, and it was really horrible. So I almost quit on the second week of this whole thing. Um, okay, so that's the beaten egg. So now the rest of the polenta goes on top. Yep. So I'm gonna spread you out. So photograph, smile pretty. One, two, three, cheese. Okay. Um, so spreading you out, this is gonna plop, I just know. Ta-da! Okay, so we try to spread this out. Okay. Mmm. Come on. I was able to squeeze it out before, so it's gonna be okay. Everything is gonna be a-okay. I have an idea, though, uh, if this doesn't work too well. I may, um, I'm gonna put some water in a bowl. Just use the back of the spoon see if that helps spread it out some. I think it might. Okay. That's helping. Yay. Thanks again for the water tip. That kind of gave me the idea. Uh, make it a little smoother. Smushy, smushy. Okay. And once we have that, sort of, I mean, I'm, obviously I'm still seeing the egg and the, uh, 
and the cheese through that, but I think that's just the way it's going to be. I think that's just the way it's going to be. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to get it to coat over the top of it where it's underneath the top layer. Don't think I'm going to be able to pull that off. I can try, but I don't think that's going to happen. Besides, it's going to melt anyway, right? Good job. Thank you. Thank you, Rosie. Uh, so, uh, I say that's good enough. Um, so once I have that, I'm going to go back and I'm going to melt the rest of the butter. And again, I need to watch it so it doesn't explode. Come on. Okay. Uh... Oh, and that's still preheating. Uh, but wow, this is insanely early. And we just kind of had lunch not too long ago, too. Um, so uh, it bakes for 15 minutes. It bakes for 15 minutes, and then... I uh, have to heat up the oil for the meatballs. This takes like a little bit. And then fry them for three and four minutes a side. So, whoo, boy. A week ago today, we were eating dinner an hour late. So, this time feels like it might be an hour early, which I don't know if I can cope with that. But, I mean, are you guys going to just sit around for a while or while I just wait on stuff? Uh, mm -mm, butter, butter, butter. Pouring the butter on top of the polenta. Butter. Come on. Butter, 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 butter. And let's get every last drop of that out. Oh, look who just preheated. And remind me again, 15 minutes, eh? Uh... Golly G. Han? Yes. Can you cope with dinner at uh, 7 10? Sure. <laughs> I'll try to be as slow as possible. You gotta cook all these meatballs. Yes. Um, I do. That might take a while. So, um, so we've got this. And uh, the oven's preheated. My meatballs are there takes 15 minutes to cook. I want it warm. So, uh, I'm good for now, enjoying the live stream. Thank you, you you're you cool, I like you. Um, how, how are things in Tampa? Is it as disgustingly hot there as, as it is here? Um, I, I, I think you're in Tampa, I hope I'm not wrong. Um, so, this, polenta. So this is gonna go over here. And I will move you all back over. Uh, okay, unplugging from power and moving back over. Uh, I really need to clean this stovetop because this is driving me bonkers. Sorry about the robbling. Uh, somebody retweeted. Oh, Rosie, thank you. Um, okay, so uh, clean. Besides, I don't want to burn anymore pieces of cornmeal that's scattered all over creation. So, who? Any big plans for the fourth people? People, people? Uh, we're seeing fireworks elsewhere. So, um, hopefully we won't get rained on the last, like we did the last two years. Jupiter. Jupiter? You're in Jupiter? Oh, no, oh that's Ron, sorry. Um, my eyes, again. And there was a ro Ron, Ron, Ron. Oh, there's Ron Rosie, and all, and my eyes are really crappy. So my, my apologies. Um, you're seeing him in Jupiter, yes. Um, I'm assuming that's what you meant. Uh, you have too many friends to keep locations tonight. Yeah, well, that happens. Well, that's a good, that's a good problem to have, right? Ow. Um, so speaking of which, okay. Um. At least we got the big piece of schmutz out of here. 
Um, so uh, the uh, skillet. I'm going to heat up a skillet with the oil because uh, he's right. There are more meatballs that are going to fit in one pan, uh, which reminds me. Uh, I'm going to need another plate. Thank you for being understanding. Uh, another plate. Let's go take the drink. Over yonder. So this is for after. Um, and one, two, three, four. Okay. All right. So they're gonna wind up here when they're done. And skillet. We're going with the white one. Hopefully it doesn't burn your eyes with the white balance. Um, and okay, it's saying the oil should be up to half the height of the meatball. These are not very big or very high, so um, hopefully I'll be okay. Um, it did not say what kind of oil. Um, I thought of olive oil. Um, because I do have some olive oil I want to get rid of, uh, for grilling and sautéing, for sautéing and grilling. Um, you know what, that's what I'm going to go with. Or I shall go with the, uh, the level of heat is the next thing. I'm not exactly sure. I'm going with medium, medium. Maybe I should, you know what, this is going to splatter and stuff, so let's make that a little lower. As I've heard me complain before. I hate my stove. It's like one to ten. You can only work between the ranges of two, of two and a half and four because anything over four is like burn the house down. Anything below two is off. So um, this one does not go to eleven. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm definitely using up this bottle of suspect olive oil. I need an excuse for it. It says to half the length, to half the height. And uh, I don't think that's enough. Well, there goes the whole, not the whole jar, but all that was left in it anyway. So that's gonna have to do. Yes, it is. Okay. So it said heat it up so it gets warm, and then to take them out, and uh, I have tongs somewhere, uh, you need an induction burner. Yes, I do. Um, I've heard of that. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I should look that up. Um, I've heard it a million times, but I don't know what it is. Um, where are my thongs? Okay. Gotta clean these off, be right with ya. Yeah. Coming right back. Don't go away. Ah. So, yes. Did you miss me? Uh, it said just till you start feeling it warm. Um, but it has to fry, it has to cook. Um, not hot enough yet. Uh, thank you for the uh, like, Diana. Um, so, don't need you. I will need you. Um, I think those are gonna fall apart if I, if I use the tongs on them. I certainly don't wanna put my hands in hot oil. Uh, a spatula and uh, I have the Gigantor spatula um, which may be what I'm going with here so uh, I'm going to wait two minutes and then two minutes I'm going to put the polenta into the oven for 15 minutes uh, and then take it out um, and maybe that'll be the time that I need because it says three to four minutes 
Yeah, the premise is when it gets uh, starts to get golden on one side, flip it over until they're golden on both sides, um, and then to take them off, and then put them on the paper towels. So that's that's the plan. Uh, okay. I mentioned before the dill and my gag reflex. I think just smelling it sometimes does that to me. I'm trying to get over it. Um, okay. So many things are just psychological, right? I mean, the last three times I did something with dill, I didn't have a problem with it, so. Okay, they're definitely getting warm at seven o'clock now. So now I'm gonna put the polenta into the oven. Polenta EC oven. Uh, set timer for 15 minutes. Go. Okie dokie. Uh, here goes fat lot of nothing. Um, uh, camera, before we forget. I always end up regretting it when I don't have my camera. Oh, by the way, cool. Signs by Caesar. Caesar, meerkatsigns.com. Get yours. Really cool. Should have a sponsorship deal. Um, and uh, into... There we go. This is really too big a spatula, but my other one isn't flat at the bottom, so... One. Two. Three. Four. Don't get them too close to each other. That's one thing I've been taught. Five. Six. Come on, baby. Six. Okay, you want to do that way? Do that way. Six. Seven, seven, eight, don't get too close, do, do, do. I'll let you get a better view in a second. Hands a little full, so seven, that would be four, this is eight, okay. All right, so about three minutes aside, that's what it said. Hey, thanks for the like and retweet, Ben. Um, and so, picture time. Hope you dress pretty. Okay, uh, so, three to four minutes aside, I'm looking at the clock. I'm hoping, 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 hoping that that works, and I'm hoping the tongs they will not fall apart when I gotta pull them out. Uh, it said not burnt, but golden brown. I have them on what I'd call medium-low. So far, not splattering. That's, for me, a great accomplishment. Um, so, water, where did I put my water? I have water nowhere. Um, I'll be right back. Mercy buckets, okay. Three minutes, it says. Okay, we're down to about one minute and change. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be fast. Um, hey! Uh, uh, okay, that took about one minute, two minutes. Um, I mean, they wouldn't be sticking to the bottom, it's not a stick. Uh, they're not swimming in it. Kind of floating in it. Um, it is seems to be about the right height, oil-wise, so that's good for me. Okay. So the question is, is it golden brown? I promised you a better view, didn't I? Um, mm, that's where we're at. That's the light adjust. Okay. So. Uh, maybe you can see better from here. Okay. Uh, so, 
I think we're pretty sure at three minutes now. All of my problems have always been, um, what's with the apron? Pretty. Uh, thank you. It's, um, th this one is from, um, um, Cafe Press. Um, the husband for, uh, Christmas, uh, last year, uh, you know, found this with the, uh, the, all the flag thing as is on the website. Um, and it works just perfectly. Okay, now it's definitely three minutes. So thank you for asking. I just ordered from the Funky Fairy, they just got in, um, yellow meerkat aprons, and I got my custom meerkat Cliffy Land apron, which will be debuting as soon as it gets over here from Merry Old England. So, that's gonna be good. So they are, uh, so looking forward to that. Uh, and yes, they are a little golden on the other side. Uh, I'm thinking about the tongs, but I'm afraid they'll fall apart if I use the tongs. Um, so, and again, my problem with meatballs has always been that they've been too big and underdone. So, I need to be okay with it. Was it cooking longer at a lower temperature? So it cooks all the way through. That's what seems to make sense. Um, so thank you for your question. Ten minutes. Ten. I can't read. They do not make this for people with old eyes. Okay. I mean, I'm taken to wearing my glasses, and even then, it doesn't work. Um, so I don't know how they could possibly resolve that. Um, for any developers out there. Meerkat is a young person's game, right? Um, yeah, so I have my Meerkat uh, Funky Fairy t-shirt on below that has F F F Pluggy Land on it, but you can't see it under the apron. Um, so, uh, let's see, three, four, five, six, so waiting maybe another minute or so. And then we'll see if those are done and then go on for batch numero dos. I'm going to put these on the paper towels over here and cover it with the other plate to keep them warm. Um, in fact, since that burner, since I mentioned before that low on this stove is so cold that I could lick it, I'm putting this at, you know, slightly above that. Hopefully that will be on and not burning so I can touch the plate. Okay, so how are we doing over here? Okay, if I can't use the tongs now, when can I? Okay, so tongue, that tongue, the tongue, tongue, tongue. Tiny bit more. Yes, definitely more. We'll just wait another minute or so. Because I want golden, not burnt, but cooked. That is the plan. Romania. Oh, so, trivia questions, my friends. You can't see. There's um the flag of Romania. I can't ask as a quiz. Well, okay. So there's a little icon emoji thingamabob um, on the iPhone now where you can have the flags of any given country, and of course I groove on that, so I was excited. But it was curious that uh, when you look for the, fla the, the flag of Romania is there, but because the flag of Romania is there, the flag of another country is not. Which country and why? And the answer is not political. That's a quiz for you. You didn't think you'd be you didn't think there'd be a quiz here, did you? Tick the tick ding 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 that would be because Romania, with the yellow, reddish, and blue, is exactly the same, I believe. No, it's sideways. No, it's the flag of Chad. 
they're the same. Unless one is sideways, and I'm just they're the same thing with sideways. But the flag of Chad is noticeably not there. And I thought, oh, because you used the flag of Romania instead. So somebody tell me if, I, if it's sideways or if it's the same. My memory might be failing me. So I remember walking down the streets of D.C. and looking up at the, uh, at the embassy of Chad and thinking, oh, it's the Romanian embassy, and then realizing, no, that's Chad. Okay. I just want to give it time. I think I think it's done. Okay, I think it's done. Uh, Carrie, thank you for liking Reef Treat. So we got brown on both sides now. Oh, and I have to remember, I have to remember the, uh, with one of these, um, either the polenta or the meatballs. I think it's the meatballs. Or it could be, no, it's the polenta. It's served with a dollop of sour cream on top. And I have to remember, uh, oh my, look at all that grease. Well, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Asa wa make it so good. You like it, don't you? Is this a gluten-free dinner? Is this a gluten-free dinner? Um, does corn have gluten? Uh, it might be. If corn doesn't have gluten, so here we got our draining over here. So cover the plate and on to number two. Batch number two. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Uh, number one. Blah, blah, two, blah. Three, blah, 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 three, three meatballs. Four, 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 four meatballs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I should run the this water. Uh, come on. Five, five meatballs. <laughs> six, six, this the Romanian meatballs. I do not want to drop it into the oil like a splash. Mm. Six, 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 this one's really runny. Six, six meatballs. So I have to squeeze eight in this one. Because I'm not doing a whole batch just for one. Nine, 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 nine. Six, six, seven, and eight. I think I can count. And that's better than. Uh, okay, eight. Eight meatballs. What am I making? These are uh, Romanian meatballs made with um, ground pork and dill and onion and bread. Uh, and here in the stove right now is our a Romanian baked polenta with feta cheese and egg and butter. And that's going to go uh, with some sour cream at the end. So that is what I'm making. This is again, uh, if you're just joining us, night one of two. The next night is going to be on Tuesday of country number 141 of 193 doing UN member states. We'll do the non-UN sovereign states afterwards, I imagine. Um, learn to cook, cooking a country a week. Been doing it for three years. Uh, so um, now I'm doing on Meerkat live so everyone can see. Uh, follow here on Meerkat. Uh, follow at Clippyland on uh, Twitter. Right there at Cliffy Land at Twi on Twitter, um, uh, on Facebook. You can find it at the Cliffy Land, the Global Cooking Challenge. Oh, I need a spatula back. Is this one? Is that um, and uh, the blog is on Tumblr. Uh, you just go to at cliffyland.com. If you're on Tumblr, you can follow it there too. Um, also, um, blog uh, of each week is posted at the website. Making me hungry and I've not been to the store. <laughs> uh. um, the um, 
The blogs are up every Wednesday. I put the blogs up on Wednesday. Blog for last week is up now. Uh, that was for Cutter. That was the last country we did, Cutter. Um, so we cooked that one last week. We did two nights. Uh, things came out quite well. Um, I'm not thinking of what that was right now, but I remember really liking it. Um, and uh, so just check that out every Wednesday. Uh, Da -da -da. So you will see this one next Wednesday, along with what I'm making on Tuesday. Ah, I destroyed one. Man down. Man down. No. Oh, I knew that one was too mushy. Well, at least I made a spare. Um, and, uh, give 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 So next Tuesday, yes, next Tuesday we're making... A, uh, what, if you've heard, uh, you've had, um, chicken cordon bleu, I'm sure, uh, well, this is going to be sort of like a pork cordon bleu, uh, which is the Romanian take on it, because they have a lot of French, they have influence from all over creation, French, Italian, what have you, um, and yes, I know, Mr. Timer, yes, I feel you banging my wrist, stop it, off, 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 dismiss, dismiss. You are dismissed. I dismissed you. Okay, off. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out. Uh, here are our sisters. Oh, well, that's so cool. Um, that is really cool. That is so cool. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, okay, some of these are coming apart, but these are the ones that were the mushiest going into this, so I'm not really all that surprised. I've gotta get that out of the oven. And this time, I'll remember to not reach in with my bare hands. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, it's a little, um, color is a little hot because of the lighting. Um, but I'll let you see in one second. Don't want you to let these puppies get totally destroyed. Let's see how you are. Could use a little more. Definitely could use some more time there. So I will show you. And uh, here, I'll move the camera. It's easier to move the camera. Yeah. So that the lighting, yeah, that's better. So that's what that looks like. And the, you're seeing what this looks like now, over here. And, uh, meh, dinner isn't that early after all. Yay. Um, uh, I'm gonna put this stuff away. And get my plates out. Now, theoretically, the polenta, the way they make it, um, it, uh, it, not the baked one, but the non-baked one, uh, they'll cut it with a string. Um, I tried that with some, with the, the Czech Republic dumplings that I mentioned earlier, which were not good at all. Um, and that did not go too well. So, ergo, uh, Another reason I'm going with the use a knife and bake it. That one's still not really golden on the other side. That one kind of fell apart. Show me your underside, baby. Come on. That's good. Kind of golden. Okay, there you go. Oh, stand up straight, my mom would say. Why are you cooking and you are standing up straight? People are going to think you're a wow. That would be my mom talking. She's in my head. Okay. We meet the ball. Yes, okay. You, I dubbed the finished. I can't tell if that's the remains of one or a whole one itself. 
close enough. I've given you enough time. You're definitely golden. Ah! Don't fall. You're gonna stand up. Uh, that's kind of golden. That's good. And last but not least, the one that took the longest. No, it definitely needs a little bit more time. I don't know why this one's stay, staying back longer. Let me get this schmutz out of here. Yay, uh, David. David, thank you for the like and retweet. Yes, I'm giving that one just another minute more. Uh, before taking it out and draining it on the paper towels. And then to chop up the thing, uh, the polenta. I need to make sure... Yes, the sour cream goes on the polenta. I wanted to make sure I got that right. Uh, thank you for the like. Um, I don't know your name. Why, why, Elvis? Uh, hi. Thank you for the like. Um, I don't know why this is refusing. Well, it's sort of turned golden now. Yeah, I say you're done. Yeah, one of the dishes I rejected was this sort of um. Meat, bowl, uh, meat sausage kind of thing, which are like a sausage not in a casing, like it would be like your breakfast sausage type sausage. For those who go to American breakfast restaurants or shop in the aisle where those are sold. So, uh, I am gonna let that oil cool off there. And now is to the plating portion of our experience. I'm gonna need to get the sour cream out. Sour cream and <laughs> uh, hundred percent pure joy. Never thought that about sour cream, but you know, who am I? Okay. Uh okay, so last time, last thing I made uh, for a cutter last week, um, one thing was supposed to have a whole thing of, uh, like a cup of sour cream on the side, uh, and uh, no yogurt on the side, and I didn't use it, which was because I wasn't paying attention, because the things at the plating portion is when I start to forget. Um, spoon. Spoon. Okay, here goes nothing. Knife. Okay, it goes... Yes, okay. Okay, polenta. Polenta. Here. And the, the lighting is so... That's the polenta. These are my hands, starting to burn. Uh, okay. So, uh, knife. Knife, 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 knife. And somehow we're gonna get that out of there without making a total destruction. It is to laugh. That might do. Okay. I could never cut a birthday cake either. So, uh, let's see. How about you? Well, it's solid ish. Uh,. Okay, I don't know how to get it out without destroying it. I don't know if you can see. Try and get it. This is this is going to be a blob. Is this is this is going to be a blob? So prepare yourselves. The plating skills are non-existent because I certainly can't turn the whole thing upside down. Yeah, this is in in multiple chunks. Oy. Oy, oy, oy. Yeah. Okay, it's not it's not solid. It's not a solid cake piece by any stretch of the imagination. Um and that's okay. Okay, and 
Let's try number two. Maybe this one will do a little better. I hope. I think. I wish I pray. Yeah. Yeah, the parents are getting getting a serving of this tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Well, better. Better, better. Better, better. A little better. That's almost a cube. Like, you... It's a relative of a cube. Okay. So, yay. That one. And... Okay, don't burn your hands. Don't be an idiot. Don't burn your hands. Okay. Are they with the... Okay. The dollop of sour cream on the top. Und... That is not a pretty dollop. One of these is more attractive than the other. That happens a lot. Oh, you fell off! Boo! 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 Stay! Sit, stay! Don't fall off. Not as pretty as I wanted. Um... Yes, only sour cream in there. Okay. So now for the meatballs, which are not too hot to touch. Garlic I'm gonna grab the plate with my. I'm sorry you can't see me talking over here. Okay, so we've got our meatballs over yonder, <laughs> and the plate meatballs. Come on, you can do it. Four. Five. In the picture, in the in the recipe, there was a picture of the meatballs, and I mean, they just had some cherry tomatoes and the pieces of um, celery, like whole piece of celery, just sitting next to it. So, um. I don't think I'm missing anything out on the uh, presentation part on that front. Uh, and didn't say, you know, serve with cherry tomatoes, so I didn't do that. Okay, we don't have a green vegetable for dinner. <clears throat> C'est la vie. Four, five, and six. And these will be leftovers. Okay, I will take my picture and then you'll get a closer look. Okay, uh, my camera. This one gets the, the better snapshot. Something tells me I may have made my first good meatballs here. So, again, to recap, we have, follow the hand, uh, we have our, uh, you know what? Where did we go? I'm gonna get the official names one more time. They are the the presentation. The chief uh, chief tele meatballs, the Romanian meatballs, and uh, the baked uh, mamaliga, which is the baked polenta. So that is it for night one of Romania. Uh, night two comes again on Tuesday night. Um, we will be doing uh, sort of a pork cordon bleu with a Romanian rice pilaf, which should be nice. Well, you know, reasonably well composed. And um, look for the blog at cliffyland.com, posted every Wednesday with pictures and reviews of how everything went. Uh, follow here on Meerkat. Uh, follow on Twitter. You'll get the updates for when the streams start and when the blog is posted on Twitter, too. Uh, follow on Tumblr, on Facebook, and we're even on Pinterest now, so feel free. Yes. Yes, glad cliffyland.com. So, thank you so much. I appreciate you all for coming by. You rock. Uh, now i got to go eat. So, uh, however you say in Romanian, uh, hasta la próxima. Adios. Goodbye. And thank you.